But uh, aboard the actual main character of the galaxy, the Federation Starship Enterprise, uh, John Luke Picard and Beverly, Beverly Crusher, who at this point in Nemesis canon have actually married and are expecting their first child to come on the way. Good God. Yeah, everybody's getting it, man. Well, it's just, look, there's a certain point where it's dangerous to have children. Now, I think that's around 70. <laughs> yeah, you would think. Maybe the rules are different in Star Trek lore, you know? I mean, in the first episode of The Next Generation, we saw 138-year-old Admiral McCoy. Man, he looked like hell. Yeah, he he really looked rough. <laughs> yeah, they might as well have had him in a uh, life support suit of some kind or something. Yeah. One of the things I always thought was funny about that, I don't believe they ever call him McCoy. They just call him Admiral and the yep. Admiral. Secondly, you know as bloody well as I do that Leonard McCoy retired the moment he got a chance to get out of Starfleet. Oh, yeah. He, he was not done. He become an Admiral. He was done. Yeah. Although... Beta Cannon has him with a not only a more lengthy career, but also military service during the aforementioned Dominion War. Holy smokes. Yeah. And at that point, I think if I unless I have my years wrong, he'd be in his 140s instead of his 130s. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, also at that point, uh, Uhura was also an admiral working for Starfleet Intelligence. So... Again, pretty much everybody but Kirk and Spock was involved in that yeah. one. But uh, that's some fan service in us, right? Oh there. man, big time. Yeah. But you know, we stand for it. Whatever. It's yeah, all it's, good. It's fun. But uh, fine and fun. 